What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we have a fixed wing aircraft. It is model 761-2 by Volantex RC and it is called the Ranger 600. It is a pre-assembled, ready to fly, remote controlled glider airplane with one key return. So let's open up the box and check it out. All right, let's get started with the Ranger 600 by Volantex. I got them out of the box and here is a take a look at the aircraft. It was packaged up in here, so it was nicely nestled right in here, completely pre-assembled and inside the box, we'll get the instruction manual as well as a bag of goodies and it contains the USB to uh, single cell battery charger cable and an extra prop. And we also had some foam for the sticks on the remote control to protect it. And I've also brought some extra batteries just in case. So very well protected. And it was all pre-assembled, ready to go. So let's take a look at the aircraft here. Really, really light. And we got the motor and the propeller in the midsection of the aircraft. There's no moving parts on the wings. Uh, we just have some rudder movement and the tail elevator movement here. And... On the bottom, we just have some bulging uh, foam for landing. And if you open the cabin from the front, lift it up and pull it out, we have the battery bay. And the battery that they provide you with is a 3.7 volt, 360 milliamp size battery, uh, supposed to give you a flight time of 30 minutes. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to give you 30 minutes of flight time if you constantly throttle. This is a glider, so if you glide some and throttle some, I'm pretty sure you'll get good 20 to 30 minutes of flight time. And there's the flight controller and the servos. So, battery goes right in here and put the cabin in rear first. And there's a little plastic. You click it into place. All right, let's go and take a look at the remote control. The remote control is pretty nice, nice size here. On and off switch, we've got some trim buttons here. Now this throttle trim button serves as the uh, one key to return function as well. I'll go over that once we get it started. Here's a switch, three position switch. All the way away from you, it is the expert mode or the acro mode. In between, it is the mid mode and it is gyro assisted mode, kind of like a horizon mode you probably can still do flips and stuff but you still get the gyro assisted flying and if you pull it all the way towards you that will be the beginner mode and i believe that will be the stabilized mode i'm going to fly it in the stabilized mode first here's the antenna i'm not sure if it is a real antenna i don't see any wire sticking out so pretty much it is just for looks and here is a button it does not serve any function both sticks to the bottom and out will gyro calibrate and throttle up and down will uh, unlock the throttle now uh, when you turn on the aircraft and then you turn on the remote control uh, there's a couple of procedures uh, to activate the one key return uh, you need to hold this throttle trim button down for a few seconds and it will activate the one key return and then once you are in flight you just press this button uh, it will do a maneuver where it turns around and comes back towards where you took off from uh, in a north south west east format just like a regular quadcopter with a one key return it'll head towards the southbound heading and it'll keep on flying unless you redirect it with the pitch and roll stick or press the one key return again i am assuming so you need to do that before you unlock the throttle by unlocking the throttle i mean going up and down on the throttle uh, once you turn on the aircraft and turn on the remote control you are bound so you don't need to do that up and down to bind but up and down is to unlock the throttle and also what you also want to do is gyro calibrate with both sticks to the bottom and out before you unlock the throttle to calibrate the gyros all right so let's go for a little demo flight with the volantex rc's ranger 600 all right let's get started let's go ahead and power this baby up Plugging in the battery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the foam stuff that came in the box to level the aircraft. I'm going to turn on the remote control. And at this time what I'm going to do is bolt sticks to the bottom and 
out will calibrate the gyros and there you go you see some movement on the tail and also I want to activate the one key return there you go I have activated the one key return and look at that it responded by uh, moving the rudder and the elevator all right so we are good to go now so let's go ahead and remove or I'm just gonna toss it so we don't really need to worry about the box all right so we got look at that six axis stabilization so yeah it is activated all right so let's check it out give it some throttle or throttle uh, unlock you have to go up and down on the throttle to unlock the throttle see it did not activate now we got power to the motor so that is pretty cool very safety featured product this one okay this is my very first flight and today there is absolutely no breeze maybe about two to three miles per hour breeze and I'm not sure which way the breeze is coming from because I can't really feel it so I'm just gonna toss it whichever direction and give it some throttle let's check it out all right we got it going here and our first flight with the Ranger 600 fixed wing glider I lost it in the Sun there for a minute and there we go turning around now the throttle stick has no yaw function as you can see I'm yawing to the left yawing to the right that has no yaw function turning ability you do it with the right pitch and roll stick so I am rolling to the right to make a right turn and there's a car passing by <laughs> and leveling off to stabilize and pitching forward to come down in altitude and pulling the pitch to go up in altitude so elevator up elevator down all right so my first flight with this aircraft and it is very easy to fly just make sure you are elevatoring up to stabilize your altitude and it seems a little bumpy of a flight it is not a very smooth flyer I see it kind of bumping here and there and there is a little breeze kicking in also so this is a fairly light aircraft all right so let's go up in altitude here and I can hear the motor just screaming all right it is gliding I have killed the throttle and it is just gliding away and if I find a thermal I'll be able to just keep it in the air and there there's a little breeze oh check it out no power but it's bobbing up and down so I'm gonna give it some throttle here nice kill the throttle one more time and let it just glide yeah nice so you can do this all day just about wow giving it some throttle very easy to fly right all right so that is the stabilized mode I want to see what happens if I flick it over to the mid position which is the horizon mode and we'll check it out let me get some altitude first so if I make a mistake I'll have some altitude so flicking it over to the mid position and it is basically the same it feels the same
Oh yeah, but you are able to pitch a little bit more. Oh yeah. So this is a nice mode. It is sort of semi-stabilized, but you are able to do a little maneuver. Not quite the roll or the flips and stuff like that. I can roll all the way to the left and it will not do a flip or anything but it accentuates the the pitch and the roll so it's kind of like speed number two or something like that it's really nice it's a very nice function in the mid spot this is not like a horizon mode where you can still do flips. It gives you a little bit more control over the aircraft. So you need to control it a little bit more, but it is still stabilized. This is really nice. And for a beginner like me, it is just perfect. All right, let me uh, check out the expert mode away from me completely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back this way. I'm kind of losing the line of sight. And this thing has a control distance of about 200 meters. All right, let me flick it over to the expert mode since now I am directly in front of me. And yeah, we are in manual control. I can tell already just the movement of the right stick, just a little movement. And it is behaving a little bit different. I got full control now. It is not assisted at all. Oh yeah. And in this mode, you are able to do some rolls and stuff, but I don't think this aircraft is powerful enough to do any rolls. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the stabilized mode. Yeah, it is not really powerful enough to do any flips and rolls, but you are able to go up and come down. We are in stabilized mode. So as you can see, let me bring it towards this way here. So as you can see, I'm going up in elevation. That is my max in the stabilized mode. So it won't go beyond Oh, 30 degrees, maybe 25, 30 degrees. And if I pitch all the way down, oh, it will come down. But if I want to go up, that is my maximum climbing angle. All right, so let's go to mid mode and let's check out the climbing angle. Let me go ahead and turn around so we can see the angle of attack here. So here we have the full angle of attack. As you can see in the mid position, the assisted gyro mode we do have good angle of attack see whoa i'm gonna go to stabilize mode again having a little issue there whenever you are in trouble just flick it over to stabilize mode and you got stabilization and it will not go beyond 25 or 30 degree pitch up so it's really nice and here we go we're gonna flick it over to oh, I'll take that back I'm gonna bring it back it's going away from me too far and thank God there's no breeze coming in today right now it's supposed to get a little windy later oh check it out a little closer yeah I know I'm flying pretty far away from myself and you probably see the aircraft very small too. All right. I really do want to show you guys the angle of attack on the expert mode, but I don't want to crash, but I did. So, <laughs> yep, my first crash with the Ranger 600 and let's go and check out the damage all right i can see the canopy is open or the cockpit yeah very nice nothing has 
been disturbed. Very light, very flexible material. I don't think it will get damaged. Yeah, very nice. So you just pluck it back in and you are good to go once again. So let me go and flick it back over to stabilized mode and there we go. And we are flying again. Nice. Let me try and do the expert mode once again. Okay. Here's the angle of attack in the expert mode and you are able to go straight up. If it has enough power, you are able to go straight up. So it's got a very nice angle of attack here. I'm going to go back down to stability mode where I feel more comfortable. Oh yeah, it's nicer to just fly around in the stability mode. After all, it is just a glider. I think a uh, perfect little aircraft for a beginner, fixed wing pilot, perfect for a child as well. 200 meter distance guys. So you are able to go pretty far. Now I'm located right here in this field here and I'm standing where I normally used to do my reviews and let's check it out. There's the 100 meter bush way over there and it is around 100 meters from where I'm standing. So I'm already right around on top of the 100 meters and I'm turning around. Yeah, you are still able to see the orientation of the aircraft even that far away so pretty nice it wobbles a little bit perhaps the battery placement is not as good inside of the aircraft so it is bo bobbling left and right but check it out we got tons of flight time here and the breeze is kicking in too and I do believe the breeze is uh, playing a little role Nice! It's always nice to change the pace. And the motor's probably heating up too with all this throttling. It's just a little brushed motor and the flight time is just amazing on these things. Yeah, I'm kind of getting the hang of it here. As you can see, I'm able to come a little closer to myself instead of flying so far away. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go. I got really close. Woohoo! Speed pass. Oh, this is fun. And so far, I seem to have still battery life. Very nice. I think an all-in-one VTX will be a little bit too heavy for this glider. But you never know. I've done it before. Yeah, it is wobbling left and right. Maybe I need to place the battery a little bit more forward inside of the battery bay to give it more weight in the front of the aircraft so it points its way a little bit better and fights the wind. Okay, no throttle gliding. Ooh, almost came down with a stall there. So throttle back up and you are good to go half throttle so i'm just cruising now all 
All right, I think the battery life is coming to an end. So I'm throttling all the way and it's slowly coming down. Okay, so let's go ahead and land it right there. There you go. The flight time of the Ranger 600 by Volantex RC. Let's go retrieve the aircraft. All right, here we go once again with the Ranger 600. I'm at a different location now. I got a new battery in here, so I'm gonna test it out some more. So let's go and check it out. I got it bounded and I did set my gyro as well as the one key to return activation. I didn't test that out earlier, so we're gonna test it out now. So let's check it out. Woohoo! Just clear the fence. There you go. All right, let me send it out that way and I'm going to hit this one key to return and check it out. It's coming back this way. So redirecting it with the pitch and roll stick, you get out of the one key return. Woohoo! There's a lots of trees over here. <laughs> Better not get stuck in them trees. All right, so the one key return does work. Let me test it out one more time. Let me go up in altitude a little bit and keep throttling. And look at that. It's automatically turning around by itself and heading back this way. All right, redirecting it. And there you go. Let me try that one more time. Sending it out, sending it out, and hitting that button. And look at that. It's making a beeline back this way. You just got to make sure that you are cleared with the trees while it's making that turn. It makes a right turn, 180 degrees. So let me go out this way here one more time and, oh, this time it's making a left turn. Oh, so either direction it does it. Oh, that is pretty cool. Okay, one more time, directly away from me and, and this time it's making a right turn. <laughs> How do you like that? Redirect it and you are out. Let me go that way and hit it. Oh, it still makes a right turn on this one. So once in a while it makes a left turn, once in a while it makes a right turn. All right. Yeah, what I realize also is these fixed wing aircrafts in acro mode is a perfect learning practice to fly acro since I have a hard time flying acro in line of sight with quadcopters fly acro with these fixed wings because the orientation is a lot better than quadcopters and the wind has picked up a little bit and it is still fighting the wind and it is flying very well so not bad for a little glider yeah I'm pretty sure you can hear the wind noise on the audio all right i'm gonna keep flying the ranger 600 practice a little bit more i have a few more batteries to go so that is it for now guys with the volantex rc's ranger 600 glider airplane thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time check it out Close up. Nice. Woohoo! The car.
nice.